today I am going to show you what I put in my carry-on bag when I travel. So I am headed out to Miami. I'm actually going to a keto event. So keto collabs, if you are not familiar with keto collabs, head over to Instagram, follow them on Instagram. They are putting on an amazing keto event and I'm going and I'm going to be a speaker and I'm excited to meet all of you. But that is not the topic of this video. However, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications because I will be doing a vlog of that trip and it's something you don't want to miss. So excuse the robe and the towel, but there are a couple of products that I wanted to actually show you before I get started on what's in my carry-on bag. And these particular products are two products that I use at home all the time, every single day, but specifically, they're really, really good for travel. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind with travel is um, you're gonna get dry because of the airplane air, airport air, the recycled air, um, it's inevitable. And so um, the second thing is actually water retention. So that's a different topic, but the two products for dryness that I like to have on hand when I travel, especially when it includes air travel, is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I mean, the name Jet Lag Mask, um, it was developed for that exact reason um, because your skin takes a beating during travel. So this is something I, I like to apply every single night, but especially when I travel. So I'm actually gonna apply that right now, which is why I wanted to do this before I got dressed. So I could show you guys, it's just really, really easy to apply. It's like a lotion. And the cool thing about it is you just put like a pretty thick layer on and you just leave it on and you let it absorb into your skin. Put it on um, at night before bed and you will wake up and your skin will feel very hydrated and very plump and it will repair all of that uh, airplane air dryness. I guarantee it. So there's not that many beauty products that I will continue to refill. But this is definitely one of them. This is like my third tube of jet lag mask. And the other thing is the Lanier lip mask. Again, same reason, dryness. Um, I, my lips always feel really, really dry when I travel, especially when you're going to a different climate because you know, it's your skin is just gonna, um, it's gonna take a toll on your skin, which includes your lips. So I just put some on my nail, on the back of my nail like that. And you put a thick layer on and I also put this on before bed. And so these two products, guys, you leave them on all night long and you wake up, your lips are super plump and your skin is nice and hydrated. So I will link them down below. Those are my two must haves, honestly, for every day, but especially while you travel. Now let's get on to what's in my carry on bag. So this is the bag that I am going to be bringing with me on the plane. And for whatever reason, people are always so curious as to what I pack in my carry-on bag. It's a question I get all the time, things that I bring with on the plane, snacks, things like that. So I thought I would cover it. So please excuse my wardrobe. I am in my pajamas right now because I am kind of winding down for the evening. I'm actually leaving on my trip tomorrow. Um, but here is my bag, so let's get right to it. Um, I select the bag based on the type of trip that I'm going on. Um, this bag, it was the convenient size um, for what I needed. I have all kinds of different carry-on bags. And this is not the bag that I use all the time, but this is a Gucci backpack. I'm going to link everything that I can down below in the description box. So if there's anything you're interested in knowing more about, check the description box but let's get started. So first and foremost, what I like to do when I am packing a carry-on bag, Charles, is put the things that I need to access very easily and frequently in the very front, very easily accessible so that I'm not digging around for things. So that's why I like this bag for airports because it's got that nice big front pocket. And inside here, I've got my little travel wallet I don't bring a big old wallet when I travel. I just take the cards and my ID um, in this little Louis Vuitton travel wallet. I've got my credit cards, my ID, just everything really easily. So I can easily grab it when I am going through security. Um, I've got my boarding pass. So you always want to keep that handy. Um, I've got my jewelry in here. So I am definitely checking a bag and I'm only gonna have this bag as my carry-on. So I never 
check my jewelry. And I don't really wear a lot of jewelry to the airport because I don't like to have to take things off when I'm going through security. So I've got my jewelry in this little pouch and I've got it also in my bag. I've also got a little brush because my hair tends to get kind of like all tangled up and stuff in the back, especially on the plane. So I like to be able to brush out my hair. And that is it for the front pocket. So now let's get into the main bag. So one thing I always recommend when it comes to flights is always be prepared as much as you can with food. You do not want to rely on airport food for multiple reasons. For one, they may not have good nutritious options that will keep you on plan. Um, and for two, it's so expensive, like beyond expensive. If you want almonds, buy them beforehand. If you want a salad, buy it beforehand. I mean, you guys, it's crazy at the airport. So I always bring food. Um, for me, lately, I've been on this peanut butter and jelly sandwich kick. So I packed myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is low carb bread from Chompies. That's the brand. I've got Quest Nutrition Chips. It is a long flight, so I do need a meal and some snacks. It is going to be the bulk of my macros are going to be consumed during from the time I'm at the airport to the time I arrive at my hotel in Miami. So um, I also have a few snacks as well. Now I always carry snacks, even for, even if it's a short flight. And the reason why I always carry snacks is because there are flight delays. There are, you know, situations that can occur where you are traveling much, much longer than you anticipated. So it's always good to be prepared. Um, so I always bring even more than I'm gonna need. So I have this little snack bag. And in here, I've got a Nui Foods cookie. So it's all like my favorite snacks. A Nui Foods cookie and a Built Bar, which is one of my favorite protein bars. I have also got my supplementation because I only take these with food. I won't be eating before I arrive at the airport. I'll actually be, will be eating for the first time on the airplane. So I am packing this to take when I consume my food. So that is my little snack bag. Okay, what's next? So I carry wipes with me all the time, guys, not only for the bathroom, but to wipe down my my chair and the things that I'm gonna touch on the airplane. It's already very, you know, there's already a lot of germs when it comes to travel and you're exposed to so much different stuff. I really try to minimize that by cleaning things, sanitizing as much as I can. So I never travel without some wipes. And then I've got, let's see, I'm gonna start here in the front. I've got my vlogging camera because I do plan on doing some uh, vlogging on this trip. So um, it's another reason why I picked this bag because it accommodates my camera along with the tripod. So I will be vlogging. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see what I'm up to on this trip. Um, I've also got some cozy socks because typically on an airplane, I use my slides because it's easy to get on and off for uh, going through security. And, but then my feet are cold because I wear my slides usually without socks. So I like a cozy warm sock on the plane. I'm always cold on the plane. So I always have like a pair of cozy socks. I don't always wear them, but I do a lot. All right, so oh, let's see what else I got in this bag. My laptop, so this is my MacBook. Um, there is no better time to get some work done than on an airplane ride. It is like uninterrupted such productive time. I actually so look forward to long airplane rides because I never have that opportunity where I'm just like uninterrupted. So definitely always bring my laptop. And this is my planner. If you guys know me at all, if you follow me on Instagram, you see this thing. This is like my Bible. Um, if it's not written in here, it doesn't happen. This is my to-do list, my action plan, my monthly goals, weekly goals, daily goals. All of it is here. I do not travel without it because um, it keeps me sane. And this little 
pouch right here is like my charging station. So in here, I have got an iPhone charger, my camera charger, my little portable internet, and a fully charged battery backup for my phone. So this is like very essential. I love things with a case, it just makes my heart happy. Okay, and last but not least is my makeup bag. So I don't typically, I'm not someone that reapplies makeup or carries makeup with me a lot. However, when I'm about to land, um, I usually like to freshen up a little bit. And so I pack this little makeup bag, which just has a couple of items. Um, this is a powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I love it. It's like a flawless powder. And it'll basically absorb oil and really mattify my face. So if I'm feeling greasy or yucky after the flight, I just get this little brush and just kind of like my T-zone especially. Um, plus that is my mirror. So that's the mirror that's in here. And then I will also uh, reapply a lip usually. So I've got a couple of matte lips in here. And then I've got this tiny little bronzer. So I will take after I mattify my face, I have another little brush in here and I will take this brush and just kind of like spruce up my cheeks a little bit and just, you know, bring myself back to life after the flight. And so that is that. And that is all I have in my bag. So that is what I carry in my bag. Also in that front pocket, I will obviously place my cell phone. Um, but yeah, so that is what I take with me on trips for the most part, give or take a few things. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tune in because I will be vlogging my entire trip to Miami. So um, turn on those post notifications and we'll see you again next time.